And welcome back, this is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Ryan. He is ranked 89th in his Platinum Division, 259 points, 17 wins, and 17 losses. And here we are in the game. And I am the Red Terran that pretty much sucked at splitting his SCVs there at the opening of this game. I am Red and I am in the Southwest. Up against Ryan, he is a blue Protoss player in the Northeast. The map is Blistering Sands, so another map that uh, I see a lot. You know, it's, it's really changed uh, the preferences for the for the random uh, map generator on StarCraft is really starting to just pick a couple and stick with it you know it's pretty much jungle basin it's blistering sands and it's steps of war and those are the ones that I see the most my favorite of those would definitely be steps of war but I do very well on this map. I, I do well on Blistering Sands, so I don't really have that much of a, a, a preference in terms of these games. And once again, head-on collision, no damage done though. I just, come on, just just one. How about you just do one? Like, you know, right there, a little, little thing. I got hit right in the head. And, oh, what great timing. So he goes right into my base instantly sets up the proxy pylon and I am none the wiser because I'm going in and I see the proxy and I see the gateway out front I think it's just a little bit late it's but it's you know it's too late it's about 10 seconds behind my barracks which means it's about 15 seconds late overall which means that I should know that there's something fishy going on with that uh, especially since I knew that he was slightly favored uh, I did show you that he was in his platinum division so I should have known that hey he's not going to be 15 seconds behind on his build there's something going on here so i'm chasing the probe around because i don't want a proxy pylon going up but it is already too late and he has already put one up orbital command is on the way meanwhile my probe is or my scv i don't have a probe uh, so I do have an SCV instead is going around the base trying to figure out what's going on He still has nothing coming out of the gateway and boom Supply Depot saves me once again getting that scouting done Is able to make me think oh Well, there's the problem right there. Uh, he did kill off the supply depot building SCV, but I can simply just Send one of these guys over. Yeah, it looks like this guy's volunteered to go finish the job. Meanwhile, a second gateway is on the way. Don't know if he's going to keep going for the, the proxy warp gate technology that he went for early, or if he's going for something else. I don't know exactly how Protoss players think when they think, hey, you know, my, my little proxy stuff did not work. What do I do now? He went here to check the, ex the, the the high yield expansion. I don't know anybody outside of a Zerg player that would actually go for these rocks this early into the game. But it does look like he's going to be going for a sneaky expansion here. He's not going for the natural, you know, uh, these here. He's actually going for what I would consider the third or fourth base. And it looks like he's getting the one on my side, too. That's what it looks like now, but maybe he's just there to scout. He does have this SCV over here just to scout. Uh, that is because he only has one stalker. Uh, another one is just finishing right there, but yeah, he's not producing that big of an army. Meanwhile, I am getting three racks as per usual. I am getting two tech labs, so I should be seeing two marauders getting pumped out right now but no it doesn't look like I have enough minerals uh, it's because I did go for the engineering bay and I'm saving it for there we go weapons level one upgrade oh so vital to any kind of early aggression here 
But I'm still confused about what's going on with these two pro. Oh, no, he did finally put up a pylon there. That is good. But this probe is still just hanging out here. And now a probe is trying to get back inside my base. That's not going to happen. Don't know what he was thinking there. He does have four stalkers out now. And a robotics facility is on the way. We'll probably see an observer come out of that. That is what I would guess. Second gas is on the way for him as well. I am not getting my second gas. I am pretty much sticking with the minerals. But I have a ton of them coming in. But then again, I don't have that much left. That is why I build this way. I don't get the second gas that early because I do go for the massive army first and here it comes. Here comes this expansion and it is that sneaky expansion that I talked about earlier. So this probe being out there forever didn't wasn't altogether a waste but it was interesting. But no observer coming out instead. He is going for a, a, a mortal which are expensive. Good lord I didn't know they were that expensive. 250 100 that is expensive. Maybe I don't hate the I don't hate them as much as I thought I did. They're pretty much a tank. And I, I I don't have a factory to show what a tank would be. I am queuing up the armor upgrade because it looks like there's only about 20 seconds left on that ar on the weapons upgrade and I didn't want any lag between the two. But look at this. Once again, He's got one gateway building in the middle here, and the cybernetics core out there. But really, ooh, that's going to be close. I Definitely this one and the robotics facility are only powered by this one pylon that is out in front. So if I take that out, I instantly take out two production facilities, and maybe a third, depending on whether or not uh, that little sliver right there is enough to power that gateway. So I'm moving out. And I definitely have the lead in the army count here. So I'm taking out everything that I can see, focusing down the immortal because I don't want it taking out all my marauders early. And he's... Boom! There we go. Three production facilities down. Instantly, just one pylon. You gotta build multiple pylons to support your buildings, otherwise this will happen to you every time. He is down to pretty much just the probes. Yeah, all he's got left are probes. So I am moving my reinforcements in. They are late as usual. But I'm trying to micro this one marauder away. Can he make it? After all, all this time, these, <laughs> these probes are not mining at all. The Marauder does finally go down. He is down to 27 probes. I do have 31 SCVs, but he does have an expansion up in, I would say, half running. He needs to chrono boost his, this Nexus right here. He needs to. But in I come again, taking down the pylon once again. None of this is going to finish. Uh, how much time is left on that Immortal? Just 7 seconds. But it just won't go down. Won't finish, at least. That pylon going down. He is down to pretty much nothing here. Again, focusing down the pylons. Probes coming out. He is uh, using them pretty much to tank for these stalkers. And I'm tr just glitching here because I I'm microing incredibly badly. What I'm trying to do is focus down these two stalkers. Uh, but I realize late now looking back at it, it was because he was out of range. And here I've set the new rally point, right? I have sent these guys to rally right here. Uh, the, the barracks to rally right there. Taking down pylons as they're being warped in. He has lost so much here. Over 2,000 different. And as you can clearly see, he has have actually spent more on army than he has. So definitely um, going to be winning this here. It's only a matter of time now. It's hard to say how long it's going to take here. Probes off the line once again. Can I micro them? Can I micro my troops better this time? It does look like I am at least trying to. It's not perfect, but it is definitely better than just letting them sit out there, putting them up in the corner so that I can't get surrounded. All those 
As, uh, all those probes do go down. He is down to just 12 probes. Looks like two of them in here. And then some more is in ex at, at his expansion. Going for the warp gates here. I think he's just staying here out of stubbornness. He does not want to admit that he lost here. But really, he's down to one stalker and 15 probes. I have 31 SCVs. My production is... Well, my income is still pretty low. I haven't even transferred yet, I don't think. No, I have not. Um, I should... Well, no, it can last a little bit longer, but I need to transfer soon. And he says something that looks like Korean to me. But I, I don't read Korean, nor am I particularly familiar with Korean, so I don't know what that says. Uh, if you guys would like to, you know, anybody out there speak Korean, can read Korean, can somehow type that into a translator. I would love to find out what that means. Um, I'm sure he cussed at me, maybe. I don't know. But that was the game. So interesting strategy. Uh, always love to see those grenades just flying out there in midair. Once again, uh, spotting spotting the pylon because of bad placement. You don't want to put it here on this map, I wouldn't think, because of the supply depot. You know, I mean, well, not the supply depot. My supply depot is what prevented it to me, but for me. But with those rocks there, almost every player will at some point in the game send something over here to get sight on the rocks. So don't put a, a, a pylon there. I never did find out about this expansion here. Um, once again, not using the Chrono Boost from either one. From either one, there's really no excuse for that. Need to keep that up. Uh, he does have quite a bit of gas. Quite well, relatively high amount of minerals. He should have built some production facilities over here and tried to do some pressure on the reinforcing army. But that was the game. And, yeah, look, I, I, I did learn here. You know, I, I got five barracks up now. Um, well, not fully functional. I, I did, I'm still working on the add-ons for that. What else am I getting? Factory and a Ghost Academy. Um, I still have not been able to do this in a 1v1 game. What I'm dying to do is to get a couple ghosts out through a couple EMPs on a large Protoss army. I haven't been able to do it in a 1v1 game. Only 2v2 and up. But that was the game, so definitely an uh, interesting strategy, so I wanted to show it to you guys. And once again, hopefully somebody can translate that for me. That would be great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this game, hope you laughed, hope you learned, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.